Hi guys, good morning. Today is Saturday and I'm just gonna bring you along with me for the day today. I just woke up probably like an hour ago and already made this huge cup of coffee. I don't know if you can tell how big it is, but it's literally almost the size of my head. Um, but I was feeling really tired, so it was just needed. But it's a beautiful day out. It's completely clear blue skies as of right now. Um, and I think it's a little chilly, but I have a fun day planned. So I'm just going to bring you guys along with me. I'm going to do some a tiny bit of skincare and makeup and make breakfast. And then I'm going to get my day started. So I'll show you what I'm up to. I know you somewhere, somewhere. I'm gonna make my breakfast in a second, but every morning when I wake up, I think it's just part of habit now. I put on my sunscreen, so I just love this Fenty Skin one because it's light and I don't really feel like a thick layer on my skin. So I'm gonna put on this. And then I also got this Isle of Paradise High Glow Self Tan Serum. So I'm going to put my sunscreen on and then I'm going to put some drops of this and see if it makes my face tan. I just got ready for the day. As you can see, I'm wearing a New York hoodie, a brown turtleneck, some cute jewelry. This is from Live Jewelers and it's new and I'm obsessed with it. And then my typical ones from Ana Luisa and just my warm leggings and Uggs, of course. And then I'm gonna wear my coat over this and also I'm gonna wear my gloves. But let me show you guys another look in the mirror. This is what Becca's wearing. A huge puffy coat, jeans. Where are the shoes from? Aldo? Aldo. Aldo. And she's looking cute. This is my look. And I'm definitely wearing a huge coat as well because it's freezing out. But we're going to get boba, so I'll show you once we get there. <laughs> So I got the classic black tea with boba and less sugar. And it's just so good. I don't know what it is. I think, honestly, because there's no cream or something. We just finished our massage and it was unreal. Literally, it was an oh, hour. Pleasant treat. Yeah, we just randomly stumbled upon it and we're like, you know, we're, we're just gonna go get a massage for no reason because we deserve it. It was and the most legit massage I think I've ever received. Yeah, like, it was an hour radical. long. They were so good. They did high pressure, which Becca and I love. And it was only $30, plus we tipped 10. So it was $40 each for an hour massage, but it was absolutely incredible. I highly recommend. The place is called Yan Man Foot Spa if you're in New York. What's your opinion of your, she just tried her bun. What's your rating? Nine out of 10 maybe. Nine out of 10, ooh. We'll show the inside real quick. There's some unknown meat in there. We didn't ask, we I'm just bought sure it. Chicken. Okay, chicken. chicken and, like, green onion. and now we are walking towards Little Italy. Remember Cole, hey it's been a while. Hey guys! Lex is here, Beck is here, and we Lex are going to pick up little Frankie's and Popeye for dinner because it's 20 degrees out and we can't eat outside. Date night 
tonight and this is our location. It's called Bua Thai and it's supposed to be really good. guys i'm about to hit 100k on tiktok so because of that i am rewarding myself with this chocolate triple chocolate moist cake i hate that word but it says it on the box so this is what i'm making and i'm gonna make it really cute if you're not following me on tiktok go check it out i'm gonna put my username here it's my name elizabeth but then just foul and I'm really excited. I'm happy I got to 100K. I'm about to hit 100K. I'm like at 98K. Hey guys, it is currently Friday and I'm about to go to Whole Foods to get some ingredients to make the viral feta TikTok pasta. So my boyfriend and I are gonna be making that tonight and then tomorrow we have a really fun day plan. I'm not gonna tell you too much, but it's gonna be really exciting and fun and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. And currently I'm on my favorite street. It's called Bond Street and this is what it looks like. It's where apparently all the famous people live, but I think it's just such a nice peaceful street So I love walking down here and look how cool the buildings are So anyway currently I am gonna just walk around a little bit then I'm gonna stop at Whole Foods and I'll show you guys what I'm getting there So John and I, as you can see, John's over there, but our living room light isn't working. We are about to make that viral feta cheese TikTok pasta. So we have all the ingredients here. We got the feta, of course, some fresh basil. I got a whole plant, olive oil, cilantro. We're going to make it with shrimp. I got this bonza linguine made out of chickpeas. And then, of course, tomatoes, garlic, um, lemon, and then this herbs of Italy. I got some salt, onion salt, and some pepper as well. And then we're also going to have a side salad. So I'm going to make this after, but I'm going to get everything going and put it in the pan. The oven's already heating up and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all in the pan. And I'm so excited. The feta dish is done. I'm, well, it's ready to go in the oven. I'm going to put this in for 30 minutes. Uh, about 400 and then I'm gonna get the shrimp going here and have the water boiling for the pasta here Our salad is ready, and I just tried it and it's so delicious We have the shrimp just finished The pasta is cooking and then the feta in the oven should be done in like 10 minutes. I think it looks ready So first you're supposed to do like this and just mix it all together I am adding some basil. I couldn't wait to try it and I need to know what it tastes like right now. Mmm. Yum. Okay. If you haven't already tried the TikTok feta pasta, you need to because it was so delicious and honestly pretty easy to make. Um, right now we're just gonna watch a show on Netflix and relax a little bit. Mm -hmm. 